we will go to our OPC server and here we will add a channel and from this list we have to select our communication channel so we will select this we can name this device as S7312 CPU and our model is S7300 and the IP address of our gateway is 192.168.1. Next we have to create some tags. We will double click here and we can write here output. For the address we can write here 20.0. And we are going to read only. And that's it. Our OPC is configured. We can test once by running this quick client. We will select our CPU and here we can see our output tag. And current value is zero. If we go here and change this bit to one, as you can see that our output is on and its status is also updated in the OPC client. Next we will close this client, minimize all the things and we will run the lab view software. Blank. Here we have to configure or create a IO server. We'll select the OPC client and we'll click here browse button here we will select window rv0 and select our nio pc server click ok next we have to create another library for the text and in this library we have to create some bound variables and from the list we will select our opc channel and our cpu and output text add this one into this library click ok Next, we have to deploy all of these library in tags. So we we'll click here, deploy all, deploy all. Next, we will right click here and create a new VI. We will insert here an indicator and name it as Q0.0. We'll go to the block diagram and here we have to link our tag. We'll go to the share variable node, my computer, and output tag. Now to execute, we need a loop. We will create a while loop around it. Assign it a control button and run it. So here is our indicator. This is the letter logic. Now here, if we modify this tag to one, this LED also updated in the lab view software via OPC server. And if we turn off this bit and hundred point zero. It turns off the Q0.0 output and same is reflected here in the lab view software. So this is how we can configure our tags in the NIOPC server and link these with this lab view software.